Hello friends, welcome to Geekslider. In this video we will be seeing how to configure browser sync in your Sublime Editor in Ubuntu operating system. Alright, so first of all if you install all the things in Sublime Editor most of the time, 99% of the time, Node.js is very important. So I assume that you guys would have installed Node.js in your Ubuntu system. If you have not installed, you can do this sudo apt get remove node.js npm i'm doing this because sometimes while you if you have already installed node.js you might have some unmet or broken dependencies so first of all i will be removing it and then you can use this curl command to get the setup i will be pasting it in the description below you can see it and using this i am installing node.js so if then some uh, code uh, like it will start download start to download and if it is successful you can try this command it will show the version of node js and it will show the version of the node gm package and finally after it has got set up open your terminal and run this this is to install this browser sync package npm package all right so I know that if you go here one second if you go here guys see this is the problem in Ubuntu I don't know why see here also there is one package for installing the same browser sync but it is not working in my case so I'm I, so what I will be showing you is a workaround for it I will be using terminal f to work this okay so after installing this thing we need to go to the root folder of the particular file alright so here this is the folder I will be opening it One second let me do open containing folder all right so see this is my root folder inside this all the setup is here right crack so I will be opening the terminal here and I'll be pasting this command browser sync start server so basically this what this does is it starts a small server and the moment you the moment you one second ah, and the moment you do some changes here and save it automatically it will uh, it will be getting updated in the browser set specified you don't need to reload all the time the browser so that's very important or else you will be always refreshing it instead of looking at your code so in your terminal let's paste this now let's understand why I have, I have put this star HTML means it will be tracking all the HTML files having uh, ending with HTML and the CSS same so you may be confused why I have put two star JS and JS slash star dot JS because see if you see my folder structure it is like this inside CSS there is CSS inside this JS folder there is JS so I have put like this so according to your uh, file folder structure you can do like that inside this JS folder star.js inside this CSS folder star.css and HTML is available globally so I will be running this see now it automatically got opened so whatever uh, changes you do in sublime it will be reflected back there automatically and one more thing see you can even open the UI of this and see let's open it see so I hope you would have got a somewhat idea of how to install browser sync and run easily and smoothly in sublime editor if you have any query just comment below I will be answering within one hour hope you like this video share like and subscribe thank you very much Ronnie signing out